Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Now uh, we were uh, uh, bringing you a live uh, broadcasting from Al Manama, Bahrain, uh, as uh, the closing uh, speech of the summit uh, was uh, being uh, read, and uh, uh, the uh, Arab League Secretary General uh, Ahmed Abu Ghid have read the uh, items uh, of the uh, um, the communique. As uh, the uh, uh, Arab League Secretary General Abu Ghid said uh, that uh, the uh, summit have. Uh, uh, said that, that there should be an acknowledging of the state of Palestine with a full membership of uh, the uh, state of Palestine in the United Nations. And also, the, uh, uh, one of the points is uh, providing, uh, providing uh, education for the students who are and pupils who are suffering uh, in the displacement and the crisis uh, in uh, some uh, Arab countries. Also, uh, uh, one of the points uh, that uh, Abu Ghid also uh, stressed on is uh, the health care which is uh, provided to people suffering from uh, the crisis. Also, developing uh, another point is developing the Arab Joint Co and unifying uh, the uh, uh, Arab stance. Uh, uh, also, during uh, the summit and the inaugural session of the summit, uh, all the, uh, the uh, um, uh, Arab League uh, Secretary General uh, delivered a speech also with the uh, UN Secretary General Antonio uh, Guterres, and we're going to go through uh, some of uh, the um, uh, speeches uh, uh, for example, uh, the uh, Arab League Secretary General in the, uh, his speech in the inaugural uh, session uh, said that the uh, occupation cannot continue uh, expect, uh, uh, except with the uh, ethnic cleansing and uh, said that, that we um, uh, rescue, uh, said that the international uh, world would like to have uh, an international conference for peace and asked uh, Bahrain to call for an international uh, um, uh, conference conference for uh, peace uh, to face the crisis in the uh, Arab world uh, and also uh, 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 because the situation in some countries uh, in the Arab world is uh, uh, in a crisis and are exploding like in uh, Sudan, uh, Syria, uh, also uh, in uh, Lebanon. Also, uh, 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 Ahmed Abu Ghid said that uh, the civilians are uh, harmed due to these uh, crises and that the Arab countries are seeking uh, good relations with foreign countries uh, but without interfering in their affairs. And uh, this, uh, uh, he asked other countries uh, to be on good affairs and good relations with the Arab world and the Arab countries without interfering uh, in their uh, affairs. For his part, uh, UN Secretary General Antonio Getrish said that nothing can justify the collective punishment that is taking place in Gaza Strip by the Israeli occupation forces. And he said that attacking Rafah is completely unacceptable. Also, um, uh, some of uh, uh, who uh, delivered speeches is Hussein Ibrahim Taha, the Secretary General of the Islamic Cooperation Organization, uh, and uh, for his part, uh, uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, in his speech in the inaugural session, said uh, that the summit is taking place during a very crit critical uh, moment uh, of brutal aggression of the, uh, in, uh, uh, by the Israeli occupation uh, forces uh, in Gaza uh, Strip, and that history is going uh, to stop before uh, this uh, war uh, to see what Israel have uh, done to civilians. Also, President Sisi said that the international organization have registered tens of thousands of deaths and that many people in Palestine uh, have been uh, killed with others missing and uh, uh, thousands went, uh, were injured. Uh, also, um, uh, President Sisi said that Egypt is also uh, seeking a two-state solution uh, and uh, the president said that uh, uh, Egypt rejects completely any military operation that could take place in uh, Rafah. Uh, he said also that Egypt is going to continue its responsibility uh, concerning uh, the Palestinian uh, cause, uh, that Egypt is abiding by uh, uh, or uh, sticking to uh, its responsibility concerning uh, the Palestinian cause, and that Egypt rejects completely uh, uh, any uh, uh, military operation in the Rafah uh, city and uh, uh, the president said also that Egypt is uh, against the liquidation of the Palestinian uh, cause. 
the President Sisi also said that, that Egypt has led peace in the area and always led and called for peace in the uh, Arab world. Uh, the uh, President also said that Egypt is seeking to save the Palestinians uh, from the Israeli uh, aggression and uh, said also that uh, uh, he called uh, on the international communi community to uh, give more support for the Palestinians uh, and the, the uh, women and children and the civilians who are uh, um, paying uh, for um, uh, this uh, um, uh, unjustified uh, punishment, collective punishment. And uh, he said that the, there should be an end to this uh, war. Uh, the president also uh, spoke of the two-state solution and for preventing the forced displacement of uh, Palestinians. For his part, president, uh, the Palestinian president Mahmoud Abbas uh, said that um, accused some countries of uh, so sponsoring and providing uh, support for Israel with weapons and ammunition. Uh, also, uh, uh, he accused Israel of uh, our uh, other countries uh, for uh, um, uh, using double standards. He said uh, that uh, some countries are supporting uh, and helping uh, Israel instead of the facing uh, Instead of facing Israel with the um, necessity to stop this uh, genocide and the killing of uh, uh, the uh, Palestinians, the women and children, and also um, stopping the aid from reaching to the Palestinians, uh, people suffering uh, from famine. Uh, also uh, sp speaking in the inaugural session is uh, uh, the uh, um, uh, word by Mauritania Djibouti and also the Iraqi president uh, uh, Abdel Latif Mohammed Gamal uh, Rashid uh, uh, also said that uh, 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 there should be uh, an, a joint Arab uh, action and uh, that was what is uh, happening in Gaza Strip is uh, very fearful. Uh, also, uh, pr the Iraqi President uh, Rashid uh, said that uh, th there should be also a ceasefire in uh, Sudan and that Iraq is supporting any step in this connection. He also said that Iraq announces its support for a ceasefire in Sudan and uh, the liberation of the Lebanese people and to meet uh, the aspirations of the Lebanese people. Uh, he also uh, uh, gave full support from Iraq to uh, Somalia and also thanked Syria for its uh, efforts and also um, uh, uh, spoke of uh, uh, the joint action, the Arab uh, importance of the joint, the uh, joint Arab action, and uh, uh, to meet the future that uh, all the Arab people deserve. Welcome back. Uh, well, to shed more light on uh, this uh, summit today, uh, we have the pleasure to have with us over the phone uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Mungi Ali Badr, Minister of Plain Prosperity and uh, the board member of Egyptian uh, United Nations uh, Association. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Sir, how did you uh, follow the uh, uh, session today uh, uh, on the level of uh, the kings and the presidents of the Arab world in the 33rd uh, session of uh, the Arab League Summit? In fact, this 33rd Arab Summit, which concluded uh, a few minutes back, uh, in fact, it came in very difficult regional and international contexts while facing challenges and restructuring after the escalation of the war in Gaza since last October 7, due to the ongoing Israeli aggression against the Palestinians, therefore the timing of the convening represents an important indication for the aim 
of the joint Arab coordination regarding the future challenge, both mm -hmm. on the war in Gaza, and its impact on the countries of the region. Mm -hmm. Moreover, his Excellency, Mr. President Sisi, in fact, he was very clear and very direct and very firm yes. uh, on his word or his speech in front of the summit. Mm -hmm. And he mentioned that uh, we must choose between bus of security and bus or bus of cows yes. and destruction. Mm -hmm. He added, Mr. President, that we regret, we regret, we reject the displacement of people of Gaza. Yes. Mr. President, before the summit, Egypt will remain firm in its position in need, uh, in deed and word, rejecting the liquidation of Palestinian issue. More, however, the emergency is that security. However, we, uh, we, he means in this Israel, I think, that security and the military solution are capable of securing anchors or achieving security is uh, uh, delusional or does not understand the yeah. situation. Yes. Uh, in fact, I, 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 I heard about the point of the declaration. In fact, it uh, stressing the desire of Arab world to achieve peace in the uh, region. And also we uh, congratulate Iraq, which will host the coming Arab summit. Yes, yes. Uh, also, uh, Dr. Um, uh we uh, listened to all the words and the uh, uh, speeches by uh, the uh, Arab leaders and kings. Um, um, the majority of uh, or all of them, uh, the main point that they spoke about is a, cease, an, a necessity of an urgent ceasefire. So how did you read this? Yeah, in, in fact, it's a very clear message since the, the 7th of uh, October uh, mm -hmm. that under the pressure of Israel on Palestine and especially in Gaza Strip, they did what they did on 7th of October. But the aggression against them, it was yani, beyond the, the mind, beyond the humanity. So, uh, uh, so uh, uh, the summit uh, expressed the responsibility of Arab leaders uh, 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 in Manama summit to discuss the situation of Arab crisis in all, especially in Gaza and uh, Libya, Sudan, Yemen, Iraq, and Lebanon. Mm. Related to the ceasefire in Gaza Strip, uh, uh, Egypt was very clear that we opened Rafah uh, border in front of uh, yani, uh, sending aid to our brother in Gaza. But unfortunately, last few days, Israeli came to uh, control uh, that passage uh, and stop. Uh, 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 allowing uh, the aid to come to our brother in Gaza. Yes. Now, now uh, 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 we can mention a very clear uh, uh, point that uh, the summit, uh, in fact, it came in very uh, 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 sensitive timing, and also. Uh, 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 it should uh, uh, yani, uh, 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 put pressure on Israel and the United States of America and the Europe to, uh, uh, yani, to reach ceasefire. Uh, besides this, in fact, there are very hot uh, issues in Arab countries, in Libya, in uh, Somalia, in Yemen, in Iraq, in Syria, in Libya. Uh, so we need a consultation on uh, uh, the, 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 the conflict in Yemen, for example. Uh, and also that conflict in Yemen, it affects the revenue of Suez Canal. Uh, and, uh, uh, and also we need uh, 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 the uh, support of Arab coalition to put pressure in Houthi threat to the Red Sea. Yeah. Other side, it's a very important related economic aspect. The non-traditional dimension of security occupy priority on the agenda. Uh, it was uh, uh, 
uh, uh, climate change mm -hmm. on the security and the stability of the Arab in the region. In addition, the escalation of the risk of migration and the refugees mm -hmm. and the increasing economic pressure affecting the stability of some Arab countries, especially in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Now we host around 9 million refugees yes. and this cost us in our budget more than 10 billion dollars yes. and this is we consider it as a very strong pressure on uh, egyptian uh, budget yes. we need the necessity of advancing the budget of joint arab cooperation mm. in the area of investment trade exchange and implementing future development strategies to yes. confront the risk of poverty and the hunger in conflict countries. Therefore, yes. the Economic and the Social Council uh, uh, related to the Arab League held many ministerial uh, meetings uh, and uh, with the aim of coordination Arab effort and achieving joint economic integration, which we call it since a long time ago. We call for Arab integration, discussing the trade exchange, mm -hmm. reducing custom duties tariff, and also achieving food security for the Arab countries, which is a very important point. It's yes. Food security is very important yes. for Arab countries. Yes. So, uh, Doctor, uh, also if we go through uh, the speech by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, uh, we can see that uh, the President uh, uh, stressed that uh, um, uh, the, this, uh, uh, the summit comes in a very critical uh, time and uh, uh, that uh, he can see that there's a brutal aggression uh, from the Israeli uh, forces, uh, uh, occupation forces for the Gaza Strip and that the history is going to stop uh, 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 to uh, say about this uh, war on the uh, civilians and the women and the children and that the international organizations have uh, uh, for sure have registered tens of thousands of deaths that the whole world can, can see every day uh, taking place in the uh, Gaza Strip and uh, the president also say, said that Egypt is seeking for a two state solution and that Egypt rejects the military operation in Rafah. How did you read and follow the uh, speech and, and, by the press. And, and, uh, in fact, it's again a double standard, which, and, which and, uh, Western countries are very clever to play with this double standard. Yes, if the double standard from your, uh, the supporting America, countries for uh, Israel. Uh, it's, okay, it's humanity. And yes. if we talk about Arab countries, especially uh, Palestinian, uh, it's a double standard that Israel defends its rights and its security. Unfortunately, this again is humanity 100 percent. And you, you, you can see demonstration in mm. many American universities and also in uh, Europe. Again, it's, uh, it's international awareness uh, rise up now and is starting to understand the real situation in Palestine. And uh, for Egyptian uh, side, Mr. President already confirmed many times that we didn't allow the liquidation uh, of the Palestinian issue. Yes. And also we rejecting displacement. Yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, President also uh, uh, yani sent very clear message to Israeli uh, leaders that don't imagine that your security or your military action against the Palestinian are capable to secure your, uh, 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 to secure uh, 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 your security mm. or uh, yes. to secure your border. Yes. This, 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 this is not, not uh, uh, understandable at all. Yes. Number, two, number two, Egypt uh, bought a strategy in dealing with Palestinian crisis. Uh, yes. That's a change. It's in very few words. No liquidation, no displacement. Yes. Uh, we are keen to help our brother in Gaza. Yes. Yes. And also, we never accept the double standard, and we never accept the aggression of Israeli uh, uh, military against our brother in, uh, yes, in Gaza. Of course. Mr. Yes. President, in fact, uh, I, I think he's the only leader who talk very clearly about Palestinian crisis. Yes. So, 
so uh, 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 we repeat again uh, 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 that Egypt never forget uh, the Palestinian uh, issue, and we support it uh, in, in, in all level, in local level, in regional level, and also in on international uh, level. Yes. Yes, uh, concerning the recommendations of uh, the summit uh, read by uh, uh, Secretary, uh, the Arab League Secretary General, General Ahmed Abu al uh, the uh, uh, Abu al said that, that acknowledging the state of Palestine is a must and the membership of the, the state of Palestine, the full membership of the state of Palestine in the United Nations also should be recognized and that uh, the Arab states uh, uh, in coordination with Al Bahrain uh, is going to contact the foreign uh, ministries uh, in around the, the world in order to recognize the state of uh, Palestine. Also providing education for students suffering uh, from displacement and crisis in uh, the Arab uh, countries. Uh, also providing health care uh, for uh, those who suffered from uh, the crisis and developing uh, the Arab joint cooperation. These are the recommendations. Uh, uh, I want your comment, please. Yeah, in, in, uh, in fact, His Excellency General, General Secretary of Arab League, mm. he, he was uh, yeah, the Minister of Foreign Affairs for Egypt, of and course. he understands very well the, 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 the historical or the history of this uh, case. Uh, his word was very firm and also in yeah, a very diplomatic way when he mentioned the riot of Palestinians to have their separate state and also uh, to be recognized by international society. And uh, uh, he was yani, uh, very firm when he mentioned that we should uh, arrange our home in Arab League uh, to put more bridges uh, on the General Assembly of United Nations. Fortunately, uh, General Secretary of United Nations, Mr. Antonio Guterres, mm. uh, he, 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 uh, he understands the situation very well. And yes. we should use his, yes. uh, 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 his role in accelerating uh, mm. uh, uh, the pressure to reach a uh, 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 final situation for Palestine to be full member in uh, a General Assembly of United uh, yes. Nations. Yes. Uh, uh, I think uh, 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 that Arab summit in Bahrain represents an opportunity uh, 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 to contract threats on the Arab national security by reviving Arab unity. Again, yes. we should revive Arab unity. Yes. And also activating pressure tools to defend the Palestine uh, rights, which require upholding the public interest and putting aside bilateral yes. differences. This yes. It's very important to put aside yes. bilateral differences. Yes, I thank you very to much for stage, your... To yes. stage of the actual Arab solidarity, yes. which I mean it. Yes. I thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your valuable information. Dr. Mungi Ali Badr, board member of the Egyptian United Nations Association and Minister of the Plebel Planetary. And thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Please stay tuned for more updates on ITV International. My name is Amal Mukhtar. Thank you.